Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim, and this is part 8 of our Grease Flashpoint series. Yeah guys, so um, a few things going on here. Uh, last episode, we took our Sheridans, and they pushed these two cities of Pristina and uh, Skopje. I think that's how you say that. And uh, yeah, they were successful. They took over the insurgents here, and they also eliminated the, uh, the Serbian units in the city of Pristina. Um, let's check their health. Okay, so that's at full health. This is a little bit injured, this one. But that's all good. Um, still got our two units here. I believe, um, I don't know if we had this city. Because I think, I, th I don't know if this was even a Serbian city. Because the morale would have been more up if, if we took it. And then they just took it back. So I believe that's something else that uh, Serbia just conquered in the meantime, I guess. Um, Romania is in this city with a tank. Um, so that's very good for us. Because they're going to be defending that city, so they can no longer push that. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. So I have a destroyer here, defending uh, these two cities. Um, our mechanized units have uh, been deployed. They've been mobilized in each of these cities. So we'll, uh, we'll actually take them and we'll add them to our, our units in these cities with the Sheridans. So we'll do that. Um, okay, I believe this guy is patrolling somewhere over here. Um, looks like whatever unit was over here, they ended up pushing um, right here, I believe. Yeah, because this is all 5% morale. So they're either here or here, um, bordering the, so the city of Sofia and our city of Plovdiv right here. So... Uh, pretty interesting. I wonder what they're going to do next. I might actually send, um, well, yeah, our, our infantry unit that we mobilize in Alexand Alexandropoli has, a uh, is coming to this recon unit here. So, uh, I don't know if I should wait for that and then send them to here. Actually, I might just send this recon division, um, move to the city right there just so they could start defending the city in case they do, um, decide to attack it. Um, but I'll leave this guy, uh, I'll put him in the city of Plovdiv too, so we could defend that, and we'll, we'll capture these eventually, it just looks like, I think, yeah, there's two in here, which is going to be difficult, and I believe there's either maybe one in each of these, or none, since the uh, destroyer took everything out there, but uh, looking pretty good so far, guys. Um, let's check what's, uh, let's check our research first. So we got our mechanized, of course, um, armored, could research this, and then of course we'll have the M2 Bradley shortly after that we could research. Um, let's check our supplies first before we do any of this. Okay, so good amount of supplies, a little low on components, good on fuel, okay on electronics, pretty good on rare materials actually, as well as money and manpower, so that's good to know. Um, could maybe start up uh, an anti-air, but we haven't come across uh, any air units that we need to make those for. Um, I think we just start this, the reinforced armor with the Sheridans. As well as, I think we should uh, mobilize... Uh, yeah, we should start mobilizing more of these. Oh, we don't have enough. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. Then we could just start, uh... Should we mobilize the basic infantry or the mechanized? Hmm. I think the mechanized. Even though... Wait, I don't think we can even do... Yeah, we can't make two mechanized units, so... Might as well just mobilize some... Infantry? So do that in both of these cities. So it's looking pretty good. Um, let's check what's going on in diplomacy. Okay, so Romania is on top, Russia second, and I'm third now. That's good to know. Um, Ukraine is still in that one coalition. I don't. Let's see. Let's actually check that. Okay, so there's only one member in that now. It's just Ukraine. So it looks like Norway. I think who was in it just left. Um, they can't join us, of course, because we're already full. So it looks like we're the only... We might be the only... Well, of course, Norway is still active, I think, but... 
We should win this game for the future. It's looking pretty bright. Um, it's looking pretty good for us. Um, of course, strong ally Romania to our north and Russia doing what they do over here. It looks like they're kind of getting things started maybe in this area to attack Ukraine or something like that. They, what is, who's this? Oh, it's just Russian territory. Okay. Um, let's check on Ukraine because Ukraine can be a threat. Um, yeah, they have a bunch of stuff in each of these cities. This one. A little bit in that. That's occupied, so nothing in there. That's a homeland city. Okay. Alright, so Yeah, there there'll be a threat for the future, of course. Um But yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. Um Maybe we move out this unit. What is the morale here? Okay, so it's 30%. I think we move out this unit here. Um I think we send it to attack here because I think there's only one unit there and if there is then we'll just take that over uh, I kind of wanted to send this guy to move more yeah I'm like right there just so he's kind of on top of the city and if he sees anything we'll just start attacking it because he is, he is on aggressive which is good and I would always recommend you guys have everything too aggressive just because um if it's just on the normal setting, the default setting, it won't attack any of the enemy troops that it comes across. So, like, say if an uh, enemy troop just, you know, if he took these uh, infantry units out of that city, started pushing here, this uh, destroyer would automatically attack that if it's in its range. So, uh, yeah, it's a big uh, tip for you guys if you guys do not know that already. Um, so, we got our guys in here. These mechanized uh, infantries are going to meet up with them. Um... We got to take care of the infantry that decided to go this way and we're going to send our recon division in that city just to uh, defend it as well as this unit that didn't meet up with them yet so they're going to both meet up there and then it will be three infantry units and uh, the combat recon vehicle which is a little weak but that's okay as long as the infantry can support them um, for the future we are infantry, we're researching the armored fighting vehicles, but for the future, um, I don't know what we should research. I'm kind of thinking of a bunch of things here. Um, maybe we actually save it for the next video, and you guys just comment on this video um, saying what I should research next, because I do want you guys to interact with this and uh, be a part of it. So, yeah, if you guys are watching this, uh, comment down below on what I should research next. Yeah, so... Uh, so I could figure out what to research for the future. Um, maybe it could be something like, uh, I don't know, maybe a bomber or something cool like that. Or a fighter. Or maybe like a, uh, where is it? Multiple rocket launcher. That could be interesting. So yeah, let me know guys in the comments. And uh, do we have a... Okay, yeah, we don't have enough components to make another destroyer. I don't think we need another destroyer yet anyways because we're not really taking a lot of uh, heat from any nation right now but um let's check on turkey for a quick second so they took over that city looks like they might have taken over this one but it fell to insurgency um russia is doing something over here they're trying to move out looks like um but slowly but surely we'll we'll probably grab a whole lot of turkey soon um, let's check on this city because that's important. Okay, so he has a recruiting office and an arms industry there, which is definitely not good. He might start mobilizing uh, a naval fleet, which is definitely important. He's got a local industry here. I don't know. Oh, level 3 too. I don't know if we've seen that before, but that's definitely huge. Um, yeah, so he's getting a little... Uh, oh, he's got a lot more stuff here, I, I think so. Yeah, I think he built a lot more stuff there in Istanbul. So yeah, it's looking pretty, uh, they're definitely going to be a threat for the future. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting game here, folks. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I think I'll actually, uh, I'll leave it off on that, guys. Um, this is episode 8 of our Grease Flashpoint series. I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, comment what I should research next. I really want to see what you guys say, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and Grim, out.